have... Make a friend that will give you their password. Well, you know... Um, I'd give you mine, but I'm tapped out already. <laughs> I think you can get in trouble for that in some places. That's like theft. Even if someone gave it to you? I think that's theft. You should, you're, I don't think you're allowed like, to give it away. That's like stealing from the company? Yes. So every time that. you take a roll of toilet paper home from the office, I you're don't stealing. Do yes. Yeah. Um, don't say you've never done that. I have not taken toilet paper, no. Um, probably a pen here and there okay. that I just like am writing and then throw it in my purse. <laughs> but <laughs> no, not, not toilet paper. <laughs> I think that's funny. <laughs> you know, my, my biggest uh, office theft thing was uh, when I was working in Iowa, we had a Pepsi machine. Mm -hmm. Glass bottles. Mm. Ten cents. And, of course, what's a, what's a soda now at, or a pop at the... If you go to the places that have the glass bottle sodas, mm -hmm. like, man, I can't remember who it was that, you, that had um, glass bottle co Coca-Cola's. Well, like, you can get the Mexican Cokes yeah. that come in the glass bottles. And they're a good dollar or two. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, it was 10 cents, right? Mm-hmm. And they had, and it was Pepsi, so they had, because Pepsi was huge where I grew up. Yeah. You hardly ever saw Coke. It was always Pepsi. And uh, they had, so they had Pepsi, and they had Mountain Dew, and I loved Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew. And I was a DJ at a radio station, so I had no money. Even for the 10 cent soda machine. Yes. But I knew where they stored all the bottles. Okay. You know, they, we had a, a closet in the back, and at the end of your shift, you had to go record the weather on the phone. We had a dial up thing for the weather. Okay. And so we had to go back at the end of each shift and update the weather on the weather machines with the latest weather. I was in that same room when they had all the pallets with all the soft drinks. And so I'd be really, really thirsty and really, really broke. I didn't even have a dime. And I would steal soft drinks from the company. <sighs> and you just gave yourself away on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking the statute of limitations is done on Probably. that. Probably. You know, because I'm thinking over the, over the time that I worked there, you know, I may have stolen, you know, 50 bucks worth of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe $100 at 10 cents a pop, you know. Yeah. But uh, You're really, really thirsty and really, really broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Look, there was a dime in a cup in the studio because we had the turntables. But sometimes we'd get a record that would skip. And so we had a little cup and you could put a dime on the tone arm and it would hold put enough weight down that it would blow through your skipping part in the record so you could keep playing the record. Wow. And it's like, do I drink a Mountain Dew? <laughs> and just let... <laughs> or do I let, you know, Benny and the Jets skip? <laughs> Probably, you, you made the wise choice to not let it skip. The choice for the people. You were taking one for the team, Gene. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but, I mean, those those were the choices we had to make at that yeah. time. You mentioned the back to school. I have a question on this food distribution volunteers. So that's been postponed? Yes. Um, they po they After last week, I sent it out saying that they were going to need, they needed help for this week. She then sent another message and said, I'm so sorry. No, this is conflicting information. Okay. But they, po they had to postpone it for August, September, and October. Okay. And I don't quite know why. She just said, here's the flyer. Uh, if someone's still, like, here's some food resources that are, are available. I don't know what happened, though. I have okay. no idea. So this was, uh, this was the United Way. Mm -hmm. um, and it was once a month. Mm -hmm. They would come in with the truck. and Yeah, like second Friday. Right. Which would be this coming Friday. This coming Friday. Which kind of, whenever she told me about it, this Friday is Friday the 13th. That's right. That's right. And now it's postponed. <laughs> just kidding. Friday, not not Friday the 13th. Right, but, but the, the food, food on Friday the 13th. Okay. Now, some of the resources they list here in Artesia, Artesia 
um, the St. Vincent de Paul Food Bank, the Trinity Temple Assembly of God. Then they have the United Way of Eddie County Food Distribution yeah. <laughs> is listed as one of the resources available. But is that what they've canceled? That's what they've canceled. That's interesting. Okay. okay. Well. All right. Oh, I just want to make sure because yeah. I saw that and said, well, they need volunteers and it's been canceled, but then it's listed as one of the resources. Yeah. So. I don't know, Gene. I'm sorry. No, no. It's, it's just a question that comes up. Loaves and Fishes uh, Community FP. Artesia Emergency Relief and First United Methodist Church are all on the list of places that if there is uh, a need for food. In Artesia. In Artesia. Those are places where you can uh, reach out. Cool. So that's, that's yep. pretty cool. Um, what else is on your list there? Well, next coming up is kind of end of the month stuff. But mm -hmm. Friday, that Friday before Red Dirt Black Gold, the 27th mm -hmm. of August. First National Bank is celebrating 65 years. Not 65 years in Artesia, just 65 years as a bank. I was going to say. Yes, because they just changed to First National Bank. That's right. They changed the name, but 65 years. And so they want to celebrate that. They're going to offer, uh, I think they're going to have like hot dogs. They're going to have giveaways, all kinds of fun stuff on that Friday from 11 to 1, kind of that lunch hour, couple couple hour time frame. Okay. Um, so that's exciting. Yep. That came in from, uh, I think their Las Cruces branches who told us about it, but they're they're celebrating at all of their first national banks, I think, statewide. So okay. that's exciting. And then, of course, the next day, well, there's two things the next day, mm -hmm. um, which the one didn't get turned blue. Whoops. I saw that. That's me. That's on me. <laughs> um, Saturday, it, well, let me, let me just say it, probably because I was up too early yesterday for that teacher breakfast. <laughs> no kidding. Um, Saturday the 28th, Red Dirt Black Gold. We're so excited. Bart Crow, Reckless Kelly. It's going to be the same as normal over in Heritage Plaza. Um, they're going to have craft vendors this year, food vendors, lots of food trucks, amazing uh, cornhole, the whole nine, beer tent, everything. Same thing as, uh, as before. We're really excited for them to come. Um, and then I do have spots for a, the, like a craft vendor or mm -hmm. just like a, a vendor wants to come okay. or a food vendor. There's two different applications. So I've got those on okay. my chamber. A little chat. bit of room left. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. And then that same day is also a pie festival at Balzano. That's what didn't get highlighted, but didn't yeah, get highlighted, but pie festival. Holy moly. So from 10 to 6, mm -hmm. they're doing like, you can go, they're doing a pie baking contest. They're doing a pie baking class. Mm. So if like you don't even know how to make a pie, <laughs> you can go learn. Yeah. They're doing a pie eating contest. Okay. That will be really fun, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you can just go out there and see what they have. They're, they're going to have pies. Of course, they have other food, wine, the whole thing, family friendly. Okay. All kinds of fun stuff. So Balzano is also happening that day. It's kind of going to be a bit busy weekend in October. That's or right. I'm sorry, in, in October. August. 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 You were up end too of early August. So that that those are the August uh, items that are coming up mm -hmm. on the red dirt black gold. I know uh, Sean on 92.9, the brand is um, he's got a brand line that if you text your name and VIP, hmm. then you're entered in a drawing, and we're gonna we're gonna have a little section there right by the stage where. Uh, our selected winners mm -hmm. will get to enjoy the show, and then we're gonna we're gonna bring them their food, so they don't have to go and get in line and oh, all that kind of stuff. I need to get with you on that. Yes, so. and all you have to do is send a little text mm -hmm. with your name and VIP. Yes, to the brand line because you want to be a VIP. That's right. And That's then right. you're just gonna pull names. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, something like that. So he's that he's talking fun. about that on on his show and. Getting people to sign up. People are signing up for that. So heck yeah. Yeah. He are says, you the one that gets the texts? No, he's the one that gets the texts. Poor guy. Yeah, Cause... I'm the one that pays the bill. <laughs> well, <laughs> which is better? <laughs> well, I wish I could see what I was paying for. Let's put it that way. Right. But uh, no, I don't get to see what people are texting him on the brand line. Well. So. If it's just, I'm sure it's just going off like every, 
with the name and a VIP. Name yes, and a VIP. Yes. Name. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing that I don't get the text. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be. Your phone would have to be on a, vibrate. Your phone would be on uh, silent mode. Have you, speaking of phone vibration, mm-hmm. have you ever had a phone where the, the, the vibrator on the phone starts to make noise instead of just feeling it? Where you actually hear that <laughs> Yes. I think some but it's not on, like, devices our, do that. Yes. So our poor daughter that's going into 10th grade, her phone does. <laughs> so you just hear this. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. She's not even able to put her phone on vibrate in class because the whole class is going to be like, what is that noise? Well, well there's got to be a way to adjust that. Let's well, see. We were, we were wondering because it's gotten way worse over the summer. And I don't know if I can take it into Apple well, and, hmm. and I even tried to say, okay, try to turn your ringer on, but turn it down all right, the way. Right, right. Ringer sh- alerts. Okay, so you have vibrate on ring, vibrate on silent, headphone safety and audio, ringer and alerts. That's my ringer and alerts. Right now, I guess I have the default ringtone. I've never changed it. <laughs> Keyboard clicks, lock sound, system haptics. And then you've got all the different sounds for the different... Uh, different things. Different yeah, things. Calendar I, alerts, reminder alerts, text tone. You know, I have that right now, which I think is... That's the, little. You, that's you don't a, want to get a text. Yeah, that's a little, nice little... Uh, here's the default one. Yes. But I didn't... That was too... Too loud. Too much. So... Oh, Popcorn. <laughs> I'll go back to bamboo because then I'll then if I change it then they'll I won't know what's going on. You're like why why is my phone making that noise? Yeah. Yeah. So poor thing. She we've got to. Well, here's get that one for out. you. Lana's Siri got changed to the male voice. Uh huh. She does not know how. At least she's claiming she doesn't know how it got changed to the male voice. All you do is say hey Siri. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Go away. <laughs> but hers comes back with the with it's the. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think that's funny. Anyway, this poor girl, she's got a <laughs> meh. <every time. laughs> I think that's funny. Like, just turn your ringer on and keep it really low. You know what's funny? I'm sure you've been in meetings. Some people have special ringtones for special people that call. Yes. Like grandchildren or teenage daughters and so you'll be in a real serious meeting you know a real important policy is being discussed (laughs) the fate of certain employees is being talked about and then all of a sudden some happy dance song starts (laughs) or something inappropriate yes saying like this is the devil calling or something (laughs) when you're like no 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 that's not my boss. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> or there's the ones that it's like, do not answer this call. Do not answer this call. And it's like, he's going right You know, it's uh, a real tense moment in yeah. the meeting. And then you... <laughs> no, 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 stop it. Yeah. <laughs> we've, yeah. All, we've all been there. We've all been there. Yes. Yeah. So who's really funny about that, Debbie, that used to work at the chamber. Mm-hmm. She does that. She puts ringtones for different people. Mm-hmm. And so... Um, mine for a while I don't know if it still is or not but it was this like champagne song <laughs> tiny bubbles <laughs> in the wine <laughs> for so a while cute. there I had the uh, the Harry Carey Cubs win <laughs> Cubs win That's you know cool. that was a little irritating in some situations yeah. so I had yeah. to I had to take that off of switch there. it yeah but uh, yeah that's kind of fun trying to figure all that out now uh, going back to the chamber, chamber chat. chat. Yep. Um, if folks have events coming up, things that they want to get on the chamber chat, because you distribute it to a lot of people. Yes, it goes out to over, yeah, probably almost 600 emails mm-hmm. now. Um, and it's weekly, uh, every Monday. So get it to me by Friday before. Mm-hmm. And... Um, and, and we mainly focus on people who are chamber members and it'll run for, um, most of the time it'll run, if it's a slip, uh, like a special deal or whatever, we'll run it for a good two weeks if you want. Um, but 
we don't go like super far out. Like I've got August and September stuff in there right now just to keep it minimized in length. So Yeah. But yeah, I mean, send it on over. I we'll put it in and advertise what you've got. And like I said, it goes out to a bunch of people and then we talk about it on the radio and yep. usually post some stuff on Facebook as well throughout the week. So Yeah. I know the uh the community farmers market this weekend mm -hmm. has kind of a special they do, and I changed that a little bit on here. Uh -huh. they, she said something about um, there's a chiropractor coming in from Roswell. Right. That is going to horse adjust a, a horse. Yep. And then that, I don't know if it's that same horse or whatever, but they're going to be having painting mm -hmm. and a pet parade. The pet parade's going to be kind of cool. Yeah. Because people and their pets and uh, not having a pet anymore at the moment. I'm going to go watch it. I don't know, because it well, kind of makes me sad. Yeah. You know? Well, maybe... Do you not have a pet at all? No. We, I have we, a pet for you. First time in a long time, we don't have a pet. Do you feel like having a bulldog? <sighs> <laughs> I don't know. I was kind of thinking about... An English about bulldog. An English bulldog. Yes. I was thinking about either a dachshund or a beagle. Mm. And, and Yeah, this would be a little bigger. Crusoe, the dachshund, they're about to have their Wiener Olympics video is supposed to come out real soon. Okay. Where Crusoe, uh, Daphne, and um, who's the other brother? <laughs> Can't remember the brother's name. I don't know. Lana's screaming at the phone right now. Oakley. Okay. Have their Olympics. Anyway. We have to go to the news. Okay. Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll, we'll see, see you soon. See you soon, folks. And the hour 